Jay-Z and Beyonce choose to remain sitting during the national anthem at Super Bowl 54. Doors closing. controversy because Jay-Z and Beyonce did not stand for the national anthem even though Jay-Z is a big time partner with the NFL. Uh, we got video of Jay-Z, Beyonce and Blue Ivy sitting down in their chairs uh, while the national anthem is being sang. Everyone around them standing up but the Jay and Beyonce were not. Now, this was a topic that I wasn't even going to give any um, lip service to. I just, I'm sick and tired of all these people that are trying to, def to uh, divide this country. And, um, you know, since Trump was elected, that's all we get from the left. The only effort we see them putting forth is trying to get the president, who's got this country in a better position than it's ever been in, in many cases, out of the, pre out of the office. And um, I'll say this. There's an election coming up in November. And there's a lot of people out there who do not know the truth. They are deceived and they are about to make a decision to vote based on emotion and false narratives because fake news is a real thing. It's absolute fact that it's owned by nefarious politicians and other people um, who want to get, who wants to put out false narratives and they want to create division and chaos. And if you don't believe that, <sighs> If you're getting your information off of mainstream media, you don't know what's going on and you're totally in the dark. They told you for three years that Trump colluded with the Russians and they said smoking gun. They used the term smoking gun like five million times. But then the Mueller report came out. Not only did it um, exonerate and clear Donald Trump of any wrongdoing, but it also implicated the, the Democrats and other deep state actors. Um, I think it was like $20,000 paid to Fusion GPS by Hillary Clinton and her um, campaign to, to dig up these lies to get this file, a Russian dossier with nothing but stupid stuff, lies about Donald Trump. They took it to a foreign, surveil foreign, intelligence, surveil a foreign intelligence surveillance court and deceived the court. Didn't tell them that Hillary Clinton paid for the research, leaked it to the media, used that as a basis to, to get the warrant to spy on Americans. Now, that's the absolute truth, and, the, and you don't know because you're watching mainstream media. They refuse to put out the truth, and um, it's sad. It's really sad. They told you that Trump, you know, he did, he did improper things on the phone with Ukraine, with the quid pro quo, and they told you that he tried to withhold all of this um, funding and aid. And they thought that he would never release the transcript or the phone call. Well, guess what? He did. And not only did we see uh, that he did nothing wrong, we see that Hunter Biden is doing the very things that they claim Donald Trump did, but he's not under investigation. And see, this is the thing. They, it's just like Joseph Goebbels, the, um, the uh, minister of propaganda for Adolf Hitler. You put out all these false narratives and it gets people in a frenzy. So they don't know. It's just a bunch of lazy Americans. But as black people, we don't have the time to be lazy. We can't be lazy. If we really want to see social progression in this country, then why do we keep continue to put people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, LeBron James, T.I., Killer Mike, Alicia Keys? Why? I mean, why? Al Sharpton? Really? Why do we put people like this and allow them to be the face and the voice for black America. It doesn't make any sense. These people claim to be all for America. They, they, I mean, all for black America. They say that they speak for us, but they continue to encourage us to vote for it and support legislation and things of that nature that has kept us oppressed. I mean, almost 100% of Democrats were against uh, freeing the slaves and then once we did finally get free then you see the KKK party pop out of the Democrat party and um, it was the, it was the Republicans that started in NRA why so black men can defend themselves that's why you fast forward 100 years later the Democrats giving us Jim Crow laws Bill Clinton giving us three strike laws Hillary Clinton went to the breakfast club told us that she keeps hot sauce in her purse now my mom don't even keep hot sauce in her purse my aunties, my sisters, this is not something that happens in black culture. And then they ask her, is she pandering to the black vote? And she wants to know, is it working? So what's something that you always carry with you? Hot Just sauce. Really? You, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you getting information right now? <laughs> <laughs> Hot sauce. Hot sauce wow. in my bag, Swag? 
Hot sauce. Really? Yes. Now, listen, yes. I just want you to know people are going to see this and say, okay, she's pandering to black people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it working? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the people that Jay-Z and Beyonce were supporting and wanted us to vote for? The same woman who said that Margaret Sanger was a, was a great woman and that she was tenacious in her vision? What was, the, what was Margaret Sanger's vision? Well, she wanted to exterminate black people. She thought we were human weeds. Planned Parenthood, the whole thing was started to kill us. I would say close to 100% of Planned Parenthood donations are going to Democrat politicians. And if you don't believe that, you can go to opensecrets.org, opensecrets.org, and you can see where the donations are going. $1,000 to Elizabeth Warren, this much money to Bernie Sanders, and that much money to John Ossoff. And I mean, just, you don't see a Republican on the list at all. And see, this is what I'm saying. They continue to tell us to support this stuff and they claim that they are for us. It doesn't make any sense. At this point, they are the equivalent to the slaves who went and told on Harry Tubman and stifled the Underground Railroad. Harry Tubman busting like, come on nigga, we going to uh, freedom. Then you got these other slaves, well man, so I know they went, they went through the woods that way, but that's what, that's what they are. I can't call them Uncle Tom's because Uncle Tom was actually the hero in the story. Um, they sambos or coons or whatever you want to call them. That's them because honestly, I would expect J people like Jay Z and Beyonce to know what's going on in the country, to know to know the statistics of the type of government that's been um, killing cities like Detroit and places like Philadelphia and L.A. and 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 uh, Atlanta. All of these different places who are just pretty much run down. Baltimore. What's the correlation you see? Well, they've been run by Democrats for the past 50 or 60 years. All of them. Without fail. So you would expect them to take a look at that kind of thing and want us to adjust because I'm not even saying vote, tell people that they should tell people to vote Republican. I'm not a Republican. I'm a conservative. I believe the Bible and if I see legislation or a politician that's supporting and advancing legislation and governance that adheres to biblical principles, that's kind of the way I go. And Donald Trump has done a phenomenal job of that thus far. Um, but they, they don't have to tell people to vote Republican. Tell them not to vote Democrat. Tell them let's free our mind. Why don't we come up with our own party? Any other alternative than vote for Hillary? Killer Mike had you following Bernie Sanders when he knew good and well that the DNC was rigged against him. So we giving all these donations and everything to somebody who doesn't even stand a chance and he knows it. Maybe Killer Mike didn't know it, but it just shows you either, either they are not smart politically or they are smart and they know what they're doing and they want to keep us down. And these are our people, quote unquote. These are the faces for our community. The ones who claim to be for us. People like T.I. You know, all of these people who've been so vehemently against blacks. I mean, vehemently against our president. People like uh, Snoop Dogg, you know, ain't nothing good coming out of this because they want you to hate the president so bad, but they don't have, they don't give you an alternative. And the alternative they are giving you are the same things that's been keeping us where we are for uh, 50, 60, 100 years. It doesn't make any sense. And so my question is, are you really that stupid politically or, or are they in your pockets? I won't get too much into conspiracy talk, but... Again, I don't see, I don't fathom Jay-Z and Beyonce and T.I. and people like that. I don't fathom them to be stupid individuals. People like LeBron James. I don't, they don't come off as stupid to me until they open their mouths and talk about politics. And uh, even with that, some things are just common sense. And if you have any good common sense, especially if you claim to be for black people, then you wouldn't tell us to vote that way. And so my challenge is, is for blacks, you know, we, we need a paradigm shift. That's what we need. We need to stop following. First of all, we need to stop putting people like stars and basketball players as our face and as our voice. Because what do these people actually know? Is it because they're rich? Is that why we got to follow them because they're rich and we ain't never been rich? No, I want to talk to somebody who's actually who knows what they're talking about, who knows a little bit about legislation, knows about the history of the country. Don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. That kind of thing. Like, give me something concrete. I don't want to vote for the people who want to take my guns away and I got a family to feed. I don't want to vote for the people who want to charge me at 40% tax rate 
and I work hard every day. I don't want to give 40% of my money, every dollar I make, to the same government that's been putting drugs in our communities. You want me to vote for the people who are telling me to give 40% of my money, that my hard-earned money, to the same government that was putting drugs in our communities since day one and has been killing us with medicine and won't even educate our children, gave us common core, these Democrats. They won't even educate our children properly. But you want me to give more of my money to them? You want me to support them? Again, don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. If you for black people, then be for black people. Because no no black person I know in their right mind wants to give them all their money away. No black person I know wants to um wants to vote for a government that's gonna be a hindrance to their entrepreneurship because that's the number one thing we need in black America is generational wealth and more entrepreneurship. And how do you how do you attain that? Well you do it with less government and regulation. Less taxation, but the the um, liberals and the and the Democrats are 180 degrees away from that. Like they on a whole different side of the spectrum. They want to take. They want to put more regulation on you. They want to take away more of your money. You know. The, I mean, just look at it. Think about it. All of these different places that are downtrodden that are ran by Democrats, man. So why why are our leaders? Telling us to keep following these things. It doesn't make any sense. And so I think as black people, we need to really consider that. We need to really think about that and, and talk about that amongst ourselves because we got an election coming up and it's very pivotal. It's very important. And we're about to make a bunch of decisions um, as far as voting is concerned out of emotion and, and just flat out sheer ignorance because the fake news is saturating this place. So when you come to me talking about um, Jay-Z and Beyonce didn't stand for the anthem. I don't really care about that. Progressive liberals never stand for the anthem. I'm not surprised. That's so 2018. That's so 2019. Just the, this, why, why do we give any attention to discussions like that? We need to be galvanizing this country. Any liberal that you know that will listen and actually want the truth, that's what we need to be trying to give more uh, attention to and focusing on, especially in black America. Because, again, it's very pivotal, this election coming up in November. I don't want to talk about people standing for the national anthem or sitting for the national anthem. I didn't see Colin Kaepernick on my TV. I didn't hear his name. And I thought it was lovely. Keep that clown as far away from my TV as possible. I was just glad I didn't see him. Colin Kaepernick. I'm so sick of people trying to divide this country. We need to be unified because the, the number one issue that's plaguing the people is corrupt government. It's elitism, not racism, that's plaguing us. That's the last thing that's plaguing us is racism. It's elitism. It's these people who think they know better than us, who think they can override our votes, and who think that we should give them our money and our guns so they can own us. That's what's killing us, and we can't realize that if we stay divided. And I don't want to talk about nobody dividing the country, but what I do want to know is why do our black leaders continue to to uh, instruct us to follow the same type of governance that has kept us oppressed. They owe us better than that. And we owe ourselves better leaders. I'm Isaiah Gates, and you've been watching The Subway Train, the modern underground railroad. Doors closing.